And then we got the Academy Awards. Anybody care? No. Who cares about the Academy Awards? Well, we got our hosts. There's our hosts right there. Amy Schumer, Wanda Sykes, Regina Hall. That's going to be hosting the Academy Awards right there, guys. <sighs> the comic actresses are in final talks for the job, which the producer, Will Packer, is adding back to the ceremony. The event had been hostless for the past three years. Um, they shouldn't have even released... They shouldn't have released who was going to host it, you know? They should have waited. Just kept it secret. How, how much more would people tune in if... They just promoted that, hey, we're going to have multiple hosts when it comes to the Oscars. Tune in to find out who it is and then just keep it a secret. But now we know, and a lot of people are like, eh, really? Them? We wanted Tom Holland, Andrew Garfield, and Tobey Maguire, God damn it. That's what we wanted. That would have been, that would have fucking hyped some people up. Definitely would have. But no, we got we got these uh, ladies right here. So, uh, um, yeah, never really been, um, you know, Amy Schumer. She's funny. She, you know, kind of sometimes. <laughs> Wanda Sykes, funny. She's probably the funnier out of the out of the three. I actually seen her live. Pretty funny. And then you got uh, Regina Hall. You know, she's pretty funny too. She's a more, you know, she's not a stand up like the other two, but she's a comedic actress. So. There you go. Um, there's your hosts right there. And then, of course, the Oscars are also talking about this whole thing right here. Oscars fan favorite. So apparently, um, when it comes to the Oscars, it says organizers. Oh, it, it, uh, hold on. Let's go ahead and reboot that. There we go right here. So Twitter users will get to vote on their favorite films that were released in 2021, regardless of of if the film was nominated for an Oscar using Oscar's fan favorite. The, f uh, the film that receives the most fan votes will be recognized during the ceremony. So that whole like um, thing that, they were, that they've been trying to do for the last couple of years, apparently they're going to be doing it for Twitter when they say like, hey, um, what's your favorite movie of 2021? So naturally all the fandoms are like, well, you know, you got the Marvel fan, you got the MCU fanboys, that are promoting Spider-Man No Way Home. And then, of course, we had people, which I was retweeting, but sadly, I don't think it qualifies Zack Snyder's Justice League, which sadly, it doesn't look like it actually qualifies, which sucks right here because Zack Snyder's Justice League not eligible for Oscar's new fan favorite award because of right here. Um, let's see, it says the, uh, the entrance uh, favorite movie can be any of the eligible movies for the 94th Academy Awards. All movies are displayed on the Oscars website. Home movies or films which are, were, not eligible, cannot be used as a favorite. So there you go right there. So, hey, keep on tweeting. Keep on tweeting it, though. Fuck it. I say keep on tweeting. If you want to keep on tweeting Zack Snyder's Justice League for the fan favorite movie, keep on doing it. Send a message. But apparently it's not eligible because it wasn't released in the movie theater, which sucks. That sucks. That that they didn't give Zack at least a limited release for his movie. That's what sucks. Because now it's kind of not going to recognize for any of this. And it's not going to be eligible for certain things. But I would say still tweet it. Still tweet it. Fuck it, you know. There's nothing wrong with still tweeting them about it, but that just kind of sucks that that's fit. Uh, um, that's happening. So Army of the Dead, Meg, you're right. Army of the Dead had a limited release right there. So I would say if you want to send a message to them, yeah, do Zack Snyder's Justice League, but also Army of the Dead. Why not? It's released, like she said, temporary. So... Yeah, I don't know what the deep water trailer is, Lane. I'll look at it when we're done with this. But uh, yeah, I'm pretty excited about it, apparently. Um, yeah, Zack Snyder's just late for a, uh, an Emmy. <laughs> don't convince him to watch the trailer. I know, apparently he really wants me to watch that trailer. I'm not even sure what exactly it is. But you said uh, to move on from the Armory verse, Davey. I know, right? I said to move on, apparently, this weekend. I don't know. I said to move on from everything. I don't know. I've always said that. I'm like, move on, guys. Like, uh, like, what's her name? What's her name? Uh huh. -huh. Right. 
Then she, yeah. Uh, somebody even said that I was like acting like Grace and saying to move on. I'm like, what the fuck world are you guys in? When did I say to move on? Anybody? Anybody got a screenshot? Anybody got a fucking clip of me saying to move on? When have I said to move on? I don't know. I am saying just send the message. Send the message, okay? Send a message in a, in a really great way. I mean, even uh, even the releases Schumacher guys, um, if you look at my Twitter, you look on their Twitter, they have an ink by the people or ink for the people, whatever, shirts for a release of Schumacher cut and all the proceeds are going to cancer. That's the way to do it right there. Don't just put up a fucking billboard that says, yeah, this was made by true DC fans. Fuck off with that. This is all about trying to like bring awareness to things, not just to get your fucking movie, not, not to get the movies out. It's also to bring awareness to suicide prevention. I love the fact that they decided to bring, you know, to all proceeds are going to be going to cancer. I'm going to be getting one of those shirts. It's a really cool release to Schumacher cur uh, uh, cut shirt that has the question mark and Batman on it and stuff like that. So make sure you guys uh, chip in for that, man. So, but yeah. That's what it should be. Anytime you have, you know, if we have some of these big campaigns and I want to do another campaign too for AFSP, I'll always have the link down below for Autumn Snyder's AFSP. Always going to be down below underneath every stream or video that I do. But yeah, you know, so let's hope. Uh, I just want more of that when it comes to all this. But anyways, like we kind of steered away from uh, the fact that, yeah, Oscars. <laughs> three, there you go. There's your three hosts. Apparently, there was going to be six at one point, but I think they shouldn't have said anything. Just, like, make it make people tune in to find out who the hosts are. That probably would have been a better idea. So, 